so uh, good morning here everyone and uh, here I am once again and uh, here in this video I would like to show you a small demo of uh, audio playback through my STM32F407 discovery board so here is my STM32F407 discovery board and uh, this is a small demo around this uh, STM32F407 discovery disc, disc 1 board actually that's the name that goes by in the market today and uh, as you can see here there is a small uh, expansion board that I made recently actually here so it's the same mapping of the pins on the both the sides actually so the ease of uh, interfacing becomes easier actually with uh, different peripherals and different uh, modules and all that actually so that's why this uh, these uh, uh, expansion board was made actually for this reason but here in this video right now actually uh, what we have here is uh, is a pen drive here a 16 16 gb pen drive in which an audio file has been stored actually so the audio playback is happening from uh, the usb actually so basically the usb uh, is uh, initializing the file system of uh, this uh, uh, of this uh, pen drive actually so using a, a fat fs uh, format actually and there is a library for doing that actually and it reads the file from this uh, sd card from this uh, pen drive actually and this is happening in the stm 32f407 application actually so it reads the file it reads the WAC file from the uh, from the uh, pen drive actually 16 gb pen drive and uh, starts to read the audio samples and that way it uh, creates a chunk of buffer of a buffer and chunks in form of buffer and each chunk is of some size say 4k or some 2k size and that is fed, fed to uh, the playback channel in the form of uh, using DMA actually it is being fed to the playback channel for playing it through this uh, STM for through this CS43L22 this is the chip that you can see here this is the CS43L22 DAC that you have here so using this DAC it is being played actually through this headphone line out actually so talking about this DAC CS43L22 actually so it's a basically a uh, quite a portable uh, stereo drag stereo DAC actually that can be used for portable applications nothing, nothing much uh, high end to expect in this actually because it's quite a, a, a minimal supported DAC actually so it can support uh, a headphone outs line outs and it provides a line input pass through actually so basically it uh, the uh, on the looking through the data sheet of this cs 43 l 22 one may get uh, the impression that uh, it's a DAC but then it supports line inputs but but basically the line inputs are basically passed through or it's a bypass actually that's happening here so it just bypasses the analog line inputs actually that are being fed so basically the microphone input that you can see a MEMS there's the MEMS microphone input the PDM it gives the PDM out output output and that is being actually that is uh, uh, interfaced with this uh, uh, cs 43 l 22 analog line in such line inputs and it is basically uh, passed through or it's being bypassed and been passed through to the different to one another channel through which it can be taken out to the or as a analog analog output and it's being fed to the uh, adc of this uh, stm32 stm32 f407 and basically what it does is that <coughs> it does a analog digital uh, does a uh, analog to digital conversion, and then it, it, it stores it into the SD card into the this uh, pen drive actually. So this record can record it also is getting stored into this uh, SD card. So if you want in this application, so this application supports DAC too also using recording it using this MEMS microphone here out here. So but basically in this video I am just showing the audio playback here. <coughs> so let's uh, uh, have a look into it and uh, let's see that how it works so basically what it does is that the headphone outs uh, headphone out or the line out of this uh, cs 43 l 222 is uh, being is a big basically is connected to this uh, aux 3.5 mm jack actually and through this the audio is routed to as aux, aux out or the line out or the head, headphone out to the aux in of my jbl uh, go to speaker and uh, through the jbl go to speaker it plays actually so that's the overall working of this and that way it plays it through this uh, pen drive from the pen drive the file goes and basically it reads it and they're basically through the DMA transfers and through the DMA and then other thing that I would like to point out here is that uh, the I2C basically I2C is basically used to configure the registers and registers and configure settings of this uh, CS4322 like the de-emphasis settings, the limiter settings, the volume settings, the master volume settings 
and the tone control and the and the bass control so basically it provides a minimal dsp in the form of tone control treble control and uh, bass control so a treble and the bass can be set up for uh, different uh, uh, gains actually so you can modify them for different gains and different frequencies at which you want to set them up actually so that's about it actually the cs43 l22 and it's a quite a minimal uh, form factor DAC and it can be used for quite a lot of portable applications a low at low power uh, DAC actually so that's way it is actually the cs43 l22 actually which is being interfaced on i2c through this stm32 f407 and this has a device address of 0x94 so it is controlled using i2c actually so let's uh, begin uh, let's start with it actually so here i'm powering it up so let's power up the speaker first so here i power up the speaker i power up the stm32407 audio playback that is happening here is uh, happening at 22.05 kilohertz it's not a 44.1 kilohertz or a 48 kilohertz playback that is happening this is 22.05 i2s 32 bit pcm stereo playback that is happening here and yeah that's about it thanks for watching and enjoy the music thank you have a nice day